the Flannan Isles just off the west coast of Scotland could be a peaceful, idyllic place, which is how it greeted the three lighthouse keepers, Thomas Marshall, James Duckett, and Donald MacArthur when they arrived for their duties. Before long though a terrible storm battered the island after which the lighthouse light went out. A ship was sent to investigate but all they found was an empty lighthouse and railings twisted and broken, supposedly because of the storm. In the succeeding years many theories have evolved to try and explain what happened to the three missing keepers but none are as terrifying as what I'm about to reveal to you. The Siren Song The storm raged violently against the remote Flannan Isles, located far off the coast of Scotland. Thunder boomed and lightning cracked as the wind howled relentlessly. Within the island's lone lighthouse, the flame continued burning brightly, illuminating the darkened sea. The three lighthouse keepers, James, Thomas, and Donald, busied themselves with their nightly duties, checking the equipment and logs. As they worked, an eerie song drifted up from the rocks below. It was hauntingly beautiful, unlike anything they had ever heard. Against their better judgment, the men were drawn to the melody. One by one, they crept outside and clambered down the steep, slippery stairs toward the enchanting voice. When they reached the shore, the keepers were met with an incredible sight. Sitting upon the jagged rocks was a ravishing woman with long flowing hair and piercing green eyes. Her skin seemed to glow, even in the darkness. The men stared, mesmerized by her beauty and hypnotic singing. Two of the keepers, James Duckett and Donald MacArthur, were consumed by their desires as they succumbed to the intoxicating spell woven by the siren. They sought to possess the enchanting creature, blind to the danger that lurked behind her mesmerizing facade. However, the third keeper, Thomas Marshall, had not fallen under her spell. Witnessing the impending danger, Marshall intercepted the misguided intentions of his companions, pleading with them to come to their senses. But the allure of the siren proved too strong, and their desires transformed into a malicious intent. In a fit of madness, Duckett and MacArthur turned on Marshall, their actions escalating into a fight for their lives. In the chaos that ensued, the siren watched on with sinister delight. As Marshall fought valiantly against his former comrades, his attempts to end the violence were in vain. Overpowered and overwhelmed, Marshall gasped for his last breath as the life drained from his body. His lifeless form crumpled to the ground, an innocent victim of their dark desires. With a chilling cry, the siren summoned monstrous creatures from the depths of the sea, giant octopus that rose from the stormy waters. Their tentacles thrashed and coiled as it slithered up the rocks, reaching towards the lighthouse keepers, intent on revenge. The malevolent creatures snatched Duckett and MacArthur, their suckered tentacles clinging to their flailing limbs, massive beaks dismembering their tortured bodies before dragging them into the unforgiving depths of the sea where the malevolent siren joined them. When the storm finally passed two days later, a supply ship arrived, only to find the lighthouse abandoned. The fate of the three lost keepers remains a chilling mystery to this day. Some say the siren still swims the rocky shores, singing her deadly melody, waiting to lure unsuspecting sailors to their doom. Please tell me what you think of this video. If you enjoyed it consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.